Lima Yankee 175 Zulu. This is Oscar Hotel 8 Sierra Tango November Stroke Papa. Oscar Hotel 8 uh, Sierra Tango November Lima Yankee 175 Zulu, uh, 5x9, Michael, Lima Yankee 3 Alpha Bravo, 5x9 from you, Lima Yankee 3 Alpha Bravo, so, so, so. QSL, your 5x7 to 5x9, excellent modulation, beautiful signal. You are listening to the emergency broadcast systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign area. The quarter wavelength vertical is probably the best friend of the field radio operator. But when we can add some adjustable loading to a quarter wave vertical whip, it becomes a relatively lightweight, easy to deploy, self supporting multi band short vertical whip, which requires no antenna tuner. This is one of the reasons you've seen me using the Super Antenna MP1 with the Yaesu FT891 and the Yaesu FT818, neither of which has an internal antenna tuner. Now, as you all know, the Super Antenna MP1 is a multi-band antenna. So I wanted to come up with a way to maximize or optimize the performance of the MP1, but only on the bands that I was interested in. That's 60, 40, 30, and 20 with the option for 80 meters. Now one of the reasons I've chosen the Super Antenna MP1 over antenna systems like the Wolf River Coil for example is the MP1 sliding mechanism for adjusting the bands and frequencies. Unlike the other systems which have basically copied the MP1, there are no jumpers or pens or clips or things like that used for adjusting the band or frequency. Another thing I like about the outer enclosure of the MP1 is its ability to protect the coils from exposure to weather, rain, ice, snow, and things like that. So the MP1 can be deployed and left outside all year around, on a balcony, outdoors, wherever, without worry of SWR variations because of the weather. Another way I'm using the Super Antenna MP1 is as a mobile antenna for HF APRS and JS8 call messaging. So one of the accessories included with the MP1 is a locking nut. This locking nut allows you to lock in the coil to a specific band or frequency, allowing it to act as a monoband mobile antenna with reasonable efficiency. Anyway, none of this is really what I wanted to talk about, but I did want to give you that quick background lesson on the MP1 and why I'm using it. Quite a few of you have seen this version of my MP1 configuration on social media or the other platforms that I'm publishing on. And at last count, I think there's been about 40 or 50 questions about this configuration of the antenna. So for the most part, this is still a Super Antenna MP1. However, I do use a collapsible whip from another manufacturer. So here's the configuration many of you have been asking about. So at the top of the antenna, we have a collapsible whip. Underneath that, we have the MP1 super slider. Under that, we have the ER1 extension rod, then a second ER1 extension rod. At this point, we put all of the vertical elements into a 3 8 by 24 mount, which terminates in an SO239 connector. Finally, we connect up three quarter wave counterpoise wires for our chosen bands and frequencies. Beyond this, there's really nothing left to do but connect the coax cable to the antenna and the radio port. So while we watch how this antenna configuration goes together, I'll explain the key benefit of it. Using the collapsible vertical whip on top of the MP1 super slider turns this antenna system into a near lossless vertical whip on 40 meters. Because the collapsible whip is much longer than the vertical elements or the titanium whip we're normally using above the MP1 coil, we can actually reduce the number of coil turns we require on the bands we select. Now using the standard titanium whip or the telescopic whip for the MP1, I would have to use almost the entire length of the MP1 super slider to load up that vertical antenna and make it resonant. Using that longer vertical whip above the coil means fewer turns, 
less loading, and thus more efficiency. Now, I still use the standard quarter wave counterpoise wires and I don't use any loading on them. Just remember, the more counterpoise wires you deploy for your chosen band, the better the performance you'll achieve with this antenna system. But I suppose the best attribute of this antenna configuration is having a near lossless, easy to deploy antenna system, which requires no antenna tuner. Lima Yankee 175 Zulu, this is Oscar Hotel 8 Sierra Tango November Stroke Papa. QSL, your 5x7 to 5x9, excellent modulation, beautiful signal. Thank you very much for answering my call and uh, we wish you 73. And there you have it guys, the Super Antenna MP1 using a longer vertical whip, a collapsible vertical whip to reduce the coil loading and increase the antenna's efficiency. A near lossless portable vertical whip. Let me know what you think in the comments and please let me know what type of uh, vertical configuration you are using with the Super Antenna or similar antennas. If you're supporting this channel through Patreon, PayPal, or simply sharing my content, you're absolutely magnificent and I couldn't do it without you. For the rest of you, if you like what I'm doing, if you like the content I'm creating, leave me a comment and a thumbs up to let me know. And if it's not too much to ask, please share this video with someone or someplace where other operators might enjoy it. Rock and roll, guys. Thanks for watching. Ciao.